Hi everyone. So I'm here today to do another Fly Lady segment. Uh, one of the things that I'm trying to do is organize my house. And uh, one thing you need to do to organize your home is to make sure that all the clutter is not in your home so that it's easier to keep clean. So uh, I've been on this cleaning thing with my kids this morning and so they have done their chores or they are still doing their chores and I am trying to get my room cleaned so that I set a good example. So um, I am going to throw away 21 things that I'm either taking to the thrift store or I am going to throw into the garbage. So I just wanted to show you guys what uh, I am going to be throwing out or giving away um, because the less things I have at my home the easier it is to keep organized so uh, let's go through this so some of you are gonna think why is she throwing this away you can still use it and I have a really hard time with that because I think well I might be able to use it later maybe I shouldn't throw it away but I have some things that are still in fantastic shape but I haven't used it in years, so why should I keep it? Or I have a set of two, right? So I'm going to just get rid of it. So, first one. These are a set of scissors that I bought at Costco, and I don't know why I have them. They're just keeping, um, occupying valuable space in my craft room and I have another pair so I have another set so why would I need to do that why would I need to have two sets and I even thought oh maybe I could take the scissors out and just um, keep this for something else you know maybe use it for my distress ink things but you know I don't need it and if I get enough of those little you know the little tools that you use for um, for the distressing the ranger I don't know what it's called but I'll buy the proper thing and I'd rather have the proper thing than make it um, something um, makeshift sort of uh, item that I've created because I I want it I don't know I just I need to get rid of this and I'll bless somebody else so somebody else who might see this at in the in the thrift store might be able to use it. So um, I'm going to put that in a bag like this, tie it up, and take that to the thrift store. Another thing. So that's item number one. Other thing is I have a bunch of gel pens and again I bought this at Costco and they've been sitting up on my shelf for years and there's multiple um, pens of the same color in here and so I picked out certain colors and the rest I'm going to donate and, and give to my to the thrift store. So again, going in, and I just think of it like I keep on thinking, well, what a waste, what if I need it, what if I need it, but um, I'm trying to change my thinking, and I'm thinking I can bless somebody else, somebody else will use it but um, more than I will since it's been sitting here for years, and... I can use it for something else. I have to, to store something that I value more. So, whole bag of gel pens, item number two. Item number three, uh, I was gonna, I love this container. And it goes with my room, but it says bulbs. And, uh, sorry, I'm using my um, laptop camera, so it's kind of getting used to it. And I thought, oh, I could take the, put this in my shed and put bulbs in. But you know what? I don't need this, and I'm going to bless somebody else. So, 
thrift store. What else do we have here? I bought this. This is a Mervy Uchida trimmer. Um, I bought this used at a craft store or a scrapbooking store that was closing out. And I never use it. And it sits in my room and it takes up valuable space. So it's going to a craft store. So that's item number four. Item number five. Uh, this is that PC Tools, and I spoke about this in one of my Project Life um, videos. I don't like it. I don't like how it sews. I don't know how to use it. Maybe that's the problem. I'm not sure. But uh, I'm going to give this, or t send this to this thrift store, and maybe somebody else can use it, and somebody will like it. But I have a sewing machine. Um, I'd rather stitch on my sewing machine, and so somebody else can use it. Let's, what is that? One, two, three, four. That's item number five. Um, this, this here, I bought it a long time ago, and I have a better way of storing my necklaces, and it's a... I don't know what that is, um, a dress form, but I'm going to donate it because I don't, I mean, I stick it right in the back of my shelf. I don't even see it. It's wasting space in my craft room, so it's going to the thrift store. Number six. Item seven, eight, and nine. These, um... The reason why I purchased these were uh, at my dollar store. <laughs> they were selling these for, I think, $3 a piece. But they came with two of those um, refillable um, cartridges that you use to cut uh, with. And so for $3 for two of those things, that was such a great deal. And I use it in... Um, this thing here, which is much bigger. This here, you got two of these things um, for $3. And so I um, would prefer to use this item. And so these items here, I'm going to donate because somebody might be able to use it and buy the refills. So that was, I think, six. So this seven, eight, nine. Um. Oh, geez, 10, 11, 12. I bought this at, in, uh, sorry, I bought this at Michael's, and I thought, oh, this is a great deal. I can use it in a layout. Well, I've never used it in a layout, and I find that these beads are too um, round for a layout. And look, I'm sitting here as I talk to you, thinking, oh, look at these little baubles. I could use them. I could use them for something. It'd be great for, um, you know, a mini album or something. But I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna fight the temptation to keep them. I'm gonna bless somebody else with them. So this is item number 11, what, 10, 11, and 12. So that's going to item number 13 and I put it in a bag already and what it is I'll show you uh, I use this item to store um, my paints in and I don't know if you can see it um, right there it's uh sorry I'm not used to this camera they're little fillers and they're in a beautiful teal color and I'm really fighting the urge to keep it because I'm thinking, oh, I could go outside and put candles on. And I definitely could use this. But right now, I value 
my craft space more than I value this. And this was, I think I just bought it at the dollar store. And if I really, really need it, I guess I can go out and buy it again, but I doubt I will. And I just need to get this out of my room because I need space and I need my room to be cleaner. So this is number 13. I should look. I should shut this up better so that it doesn't spill. What else do I have here? Okay. Item 14. I got this as a hostess gift. And here again, I'm fighting the urge to keep it because in my mind I'm thinking... Wow, I could, I can um, use this <laughs> at Christmas. Maybe I should put this in my Christmas container. But um, I also noticed that there is one that's slightly broken. The two are still fine, and maybe somebody can use it. The other two, but I need to get rid of it because it doesn't need to keep space in this craft room. So it's going to the fifth store. That's item 14. Item 15. I used to love this. I bought it. I put it in my kitchen. It doesn't go in my kitchen now. So, it's a frame or something. I guess you could use it as a little coaster. It doesn't go in my kitchen. Item 15. Item 16, sunglasses. I got this free with my order of contact lenses. So I have a lot of sunglasses. I don't need this. Somebody else can use it. So that's item 16. Item 17, it's a bangle. And I know some of you guys probably hate it. Some of you like it. This is not me. My mother bought it for me. Um, on one of her trips to the Philippines. So I'm going to give it to the thrift store and maybe somebody will use it. So 17. <coughs> 18. Bought this at Michael's, I think, 30 cents. Yes, I know I can use it as a canvas, whatever. Don't have the time don't need it. Somebody else can use it. So item 17. What else do I have? Um, item 18. <laughs> it's um, a craft mat and I think I bought this for a dollar at my favorite dollar store. But I have so many craft mats and I've put it away thinking, well, what if I use it? What if I need it? I've never used it within the year to two years that I've had it. Somebody else can use it. So item, is that 17? I think it's item 17. <laughs> item 18. I know it's, this is a good cutting board cutting mat but and my husband gave this to me two years ago um, for Mother's Day I think it's not even that used but you know what I have so many cutting mats somebody else can use it um, so it's going away so what is that item 18 I have 19 20 I only have three more items to go This one's hard for me to throw out because I bought this specifically because um, I saw a bunch of you ladies at uh, on YouTube with this and I wanted to alter it and I'm really having a hard time throwing this out. I know some of you guys probably would like to reach through the, the, the 
computer screen and take this from me. <laughs> but I don't have the time to alter this and it's taking up space and so I'm going to bless it, bless somebody else with it. So item, I think this is item 19. This one's hard to throw out, but it's going to the thrift store. So if any of you live near me, it'll be at the thrift store. So that's 18. Okay, and then um, I think that, well, that's it for the thrift store. And then I just have a bunch of stuff that was lying on my floor that I'm going to throw away. So item 19 is just this cardboard piece that I always say that I, oh, I could use it for my die cutting, whatever. It's going in the garbage. So that's 19. This manual's been sitting it's kind of freaky. Um, it's been sitting in my craft room for some reason, and it's going to go in the garbage. So, uh, 19, one side of this big, um, what is this, this laundry clip thing? Clip. Um, so, what is that? 20, and 21. I need one more thing. One more thing. 21. What can I throw out? Oh my goodness. Okay, here it is. This body lotion is very old. <laughs> I, I got it at in a hotel room and I've left it here. It's probably been sitting here for two years. I think it's a little too old. So item number 21 in the garbage. So that was my 21 fling boogie, as the fly lady would say. Uh, take um, a moment anytime you feel like it. And make it sort of a habit, maybe once a month, once a week, once every two weeks. Fling out 21 items. Um, you can either throw it in the garbage or donate it to the thrift store and bless somebody else. Um, and then it's easier to keep your home clean. So thank you guys for uh, watching my 21 fling boogie. Uh, please uh, send me a response, type something down. I love reading your comments. Um, or send me a video response and show me uh, what you could throw out, your 21 fling boogie. So I challenge all of you guys, um, do a video and show me what you fling out of your own craft room or your home. Thank you guys, everybody. Take care. Bye.